Hey fellow glitchers! If you've ever played on a custom level with steps like these, you'll know how unpredictable they can be and that you can never trust them. Why? Well, they're always up to something. Wait, I think I used that one before. Come on, step it up! If you didn't know, custom stages usually come with certain perks, and a staircase happens to be something with quite a few. The staircase I'm using is made up of steps one unit high and one unit wide. Staircases are very similar to things I've done in the past, particularly regarding teleportation and sliding, but they hold a special place in my heart, so I decided they deserved this spotlight. <laughs> to start, staircases can sometimes act like a slide, preventing any fighter from landing on it. This will usually happen during a fall state, but will most of the time require the fighter to face a certain direction and sometimes move in a certain direction. With Mario, you have to up be away from the staircase, then tilt towards it, which will cause him to slide down. Meta Knight will slide down after using certain special moves, all of which put him in a fall state. Another thing that can happen is almost like sliding, except that you're standing on the steps. You just get pushed down really fast. This mostly happens with big characters who barely fit on the steps. Jabs will work with a lot of characters, and sometimes you can be sent down just by standing in place. A special case of this phenomenon will occur when Peach uses her side B into the staircase. You'll lose control of her as she starts dropping down one step at a time until she reaches the bottom. It's quite tedious. The third thing that can happen is your character will travel up the stairs simply by performing certain moves. It takes a long time to get any distance like this, so it's faster to just walk, or when you have to, jump up the stairs. Those are pretty much all the things that can happen with a staircase. So now I'm going to show off the best of the results. You might be wondering if I'm at all aware of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, because it's been two months since E3. Well, three days after the Nintendo presentation, I bailed to Africa with an organization known as Teen Missions International, and was absent until the beginning of August. Me and my team of 21 other teenagers helped drill a well for a village in Malawi. I seem to have a few fellow glitchers down there as well. I mean, this guy's wearing a Mario Kart shirt. So yeah, I'm super hyped for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It looks amazing. And just think of all the undiscovered glitches in store. It's gonna be great. Well, thanks for watching. If you like glitches as much as me, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you later.